What's going on everyone? I'm back here with another video and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to connect your PS4 controller to your Windows 8 laptop or desktop uh, wirelessly. Uh, so the process is somewhat simple um, but your computer needs to make you need to make sure that your computer has Bluetooth um, and this particular laptop here does not have Bluetooth built in so it will be using an external Bluetooth adapter to do this. Uh, but the process is still the same for a laptop or desktop that has Bluetooth uh, built into the actual hardware. Um, but yeah, uh, let's go ahead and get started. The operating system that this laptop is running is Windows 8.1. I believe Windows 8.1 Upgrade 1, I believe is what it's it, uh, running. Um, so yeah, uh, all you need is your PS4 controller and the computer that you're going to be connecting. And that's it. So. Yeah, let's go ahead and get started. Let me tilt up just a little bit. Uh, there we go. Alright, so what you need to do is go over here to the bottom left and until you bring up this menu and go to settings. And then you need to go to control panel. And then in control panel, you want to go to hardware and sound and select view devices and printers. And then once you're in here, uh, this is where you will add the controller. So now before you click anything else, get you want to make sure the PS4 gets put into pairing mode. So just like usual, hit the PlayStation button and the share button at the same time until the light bar starts to blink. And there you go, the light bar is now blinking. So once you have done that, let's go ahead and focus back in on the screen here. All right. So now you want to go up here to add a device and click that and the computer should recognize the controller. There we are. It says wireless controller game controller. So you want to click that and then hit next. And then it's going to ask you to enter a passcode. But the generic passcode that uh, is used is four zeros. So you want to type four zeros into the password section. So one, two, three, four. And then hit enter on the keyboard. And it's going to continue with the installation process of the uh, wireless controller's uh, driver. And it's saying configuring Bluetooth services. Let it finish installing here. And there you go. Uh, the PS4 controller is now officially <coughs> uh, connected to your Windows 8.1 uh, laptop or desktop in this uh, laptop in this case. But as you can see here, PS4 controller is now on and connected, and like I said in my Mac uh, video, the light bar will be a consistent, kind of like a purple color, and that will stay on for the time that you are using it with the computer. Uh, so, but I haven't actually personally found a game that will work with the PS4 controller uh, on Windows, um, but I don't actually have a lot of games for Windows to actually use. Um, but if you guys have tested games personally, uh, if you guys have any games that are supported or games that aren't supported, uh, leave those in the comment section below and I will make a list in the description of the games that do and don't work. Uh, so I'll do that. So make sure to do that. That'll help me out a lot and I'll just make things go faster. Uh, so anyway, that's basically how you connect your PS4 controller to your Windows 8.1 computer via Bluetooth wirelessly. So, hope you guys thought this video was helpful. Uh, make sure to hit the subscribe button right down there. Uh, make sure to hit the thumbs up button as well. Helps me out a lot. Lets me know that you guys are enjoying my content and videos. Um, also, if you guys also just have any general comments or questions, I'll leave those in the comment section as well. And I'll get back to them as soon as I can. Uh, so, yeah, that's pretty much it. Once again, hope you guys have enjoyed this video, and I will see you guys in the next one. Peace out.